Hello, and you're very welcome to another episode of the Rim Junkie Show. So happy Wednesday to you, wherever you are. I'm having a gloriously gorgeous sunny day here. It was the same yesterday, so I'm so delighted about that. But I hope the sun is shining wherever you are as well. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Anne Tuhi. I'm an interior designer, and I am your host for the next half an hour. Um, today, I wanted to talk about a subject that I think affects all of us at some point or other in our lives, in our homes. And what I want to talk about is noise in your home, the acoustics in your home, how to improve the acoustics in your home, how to reduce the noise that might be impacting you in your home. One thing I've realized about myself, I know that the older I get, the less tolerant I am of noise actually. And noise can sometimes distress me quite a bit. Oh, I just realized something, I didn't go live in Instagram, but I'm live on Instagram now. So welcome Instagram. And um, I'm sorry about that, but you're like, we're live on Instagram now. We're live everywhere. So hopefully some, yes, yeah, some of you are coming in. So today we're going to be talking all about acoustics in your home, noise in your home, the impact of sound in your home and, and all of that. And I'm going to cover a few different scenarios. I'm going to do the obvious ones, the apartment living. If you've got, if you're in a semi-detached or a terraced house and there's party walls and there's noise coming through from next door, maybe you're living on a busy road and the traffic is actually impacting you quite a bit. Or perhaps you live in a gorgeous new build with a big open plan space and you're finding there's a little bit of an acoustics problem there. So these are very common. I think I've probably encountered all of them in my life. Um, Rosari is in and Jane is in and Marie is in. Brilliant. Um, actually, I'll stay here for a little bit on Instagram. So I'll start with the open plan space because open plan living, I encourage it. I love open plan living. It works for family life. It works for entertaining. It's a good thing to do. So a lot of the way that you will deal with sound issues in your home are to do with common sense. Mm. And um, the same things you will apply to different situations as well. So in your open plan space, adequate furniture is a must. If you've got an open plan space, you do need bigger furniture. You need your furniture to be in scale because it's going to absorb sound. Therefore, fabric furniture as opposed to leather furniture is better. It's the fabric, the softness of the fabric and the size of the furniture will actually absorb some of the sound waves. Now you can buy a, 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 um, a sound box or sound machine to help with the acoustics. I've never used one. The only time I'd ever really think about using that is maybe if you're in an office in your home and there's a lot of traffic and a lot of people and a lot of noise outside and inside. Um, and then and you're on the phone, you might want something like that to help you. But rugs, upholstery, heavy curtains, carpets, all of these things are things that are going to absorb sound in your home. Hello, Josephine. Hello, Kavina. Another thing that you might think of is a bookcase or bookshelves can be a very, very helpful tool in reducing your noise as well. Because, but you must have books in it, not ornaments. The solidity and the depth and the strength of the books is actually going to absorb an awful lot of noise. And as well as that, you can move that bookcase, you know, within your open plan space to put it in the best, most strategic spot. So heavy furniture like that, bookcases will actually block the sound. Sometimes people have an issue with sound on their stairs. Now, obviously, if you've got timber stairs and kids are running up and down with shoes on, that's going to cause a lot of noise. So you can do a couple of things. You can carpet that stairs end to end, or you can put a runner up your stairs. I will never forget when we built our house and finally moved in, we did have a huge amount of echoiness because we moved in without tons of furniture. I wanted to get in, settle in, bed in, and um, you know, the furniture would come after. And I do remember the difference, believe it or not, even ha and us having a runner on the stairs and not, us having art hanging in the stairwell and not. So all of these things sort of add up um, Ah, we're at the echo stage. Will be fun sorting it out. Loving these tips. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, now you can get acoustic wallpaper as well. I've never used it, but any wallpaper, a good quality wallpaper, will also absorb sound. Um, but think about your soft furnishings. 
throws, cushions, pile on the things, layer on the looks, layer on the love, like we always do. Fabric lined walls were a trendy thing for a while. Um, they would certainly absorb sound for you, but wallpaper will as well. Um, a noise cancelling machine is the machine that I was trying to think of the name of. Never used one. If anybody has, let me know. Please let me know. Now, things, practical things that you can do as well. Obviously, things like adding double glazing or triple glazing. Uh, uh, Annie is there. Lovely. And Mary Jeffrey's in. And uh, great stuff. Great to see all those lovely familiar faces coming in. And I'm loving your fashion page. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so double glazing, triple glazing. I remember one of you, um, Shirley, had a house down south in maybe Limerick or Cork, I can't remember, on a road. And we had this conversation and I told you lots of things you could do to stop the noise from coming in. But yes, obviously triple glazing is going to be a fantastic thing to do, uh, or double glazing. If you've got gaps, maybe you've got older windows, seal the gaps and cracks in your windows and your doors, because that will actually help and stop traffic noise coming in um wall-to-wall -wall carpeting is supremely effective in blanketing and dampening down noise um if that's not your thing that's okay but wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and remember now that you can get a bleach cleanable carpet if you want to have carpet but you think oh gosh the kids are going to destroy it husband's coming in with muddy boots bleach cleanable carpet you can clean anything from your cocoa brown tan to motor oil out of and how do i know that because i've done it myself um it's so clever you know and so you can have a lighter carpet and they're man-made so they're not as allergic um but obviously be careful with carpets and allergies if you've got somebody in your house our richard was allergic um to carpet so the only carpet we actually had in our house was that runner going up the stairs and rugs in three or four of the reception rooms but no wall-to-wall -wall carpets. But there's nothing like, I mean, the luxury of a wall-to-wall -wall carpet, I have to say, I just love it. I absolutely love it. You know, if I'm staying in somebody's house or staying in a hotel, I love that feeling of just plunking your bare foot down into the sumptuous, gorgeous um, softness of the carpet. So the, the big takeaway, I think, really is go with furniture that's made, made up of a soft material, upholstered furniture, um, not leather. Uh, now, you can put acoustic ceiling tiles on. I've never done it. They're not the prettiest thing, but you could do that. In an office situation, that might be a really good um, thing to do. Uh, or maybe you have a treatment room, you know, where you need the person who's coming into you to be relaxed. You know, maybe it's reflexology, physio, you know, beauty treatments, whatever. So that, the, you know, you can put acoustic panels on your walls and you can put acoustic panels on your um, ceiling if you need to dampen down that noise from a relaxation point of view. Um, ah, Liz has come in. Hope the decluttering is going well. Liz is in my, and so is Kavina, um, in my decluttering program. We started on Monday night. Um, let me see who else is coming in. Catherine is in and Savvy Kitchens. That's a lovely name. Don't know who Savvy Kitchens is, but I'll find you and follow you. Um, so really and truly, it's, it's been sensible, you know, even putting artwork on your walls, um, definitely the heavier curtains, um, you know, interlaying curtains are amazing for dampening noise and soundproofing. One thing I thought about, we when we came back from Bermuda, we rented a small townhouse in Killiney in Dublin, and um, you could definitely hear the noise coming through from the, in the living room and upstairs in our bedroom. And one thing I found out that worked was if you take your headboard, which was an upholstered headboard, if you take it, this one wasn't fitted fixed to the wall. If you take it a little bit away from the wall, you might think that plunking your bed right up against the wall is going to help you reduce the noise coming through. It, it actually doesn't. Try this. If this is your scenario, try it. Take it forward a bit and have that gap, that cushion in the middle between the wall and the bed and that definitely helped with us um what do we do there carpets yes and um rugs sure. curtains all the furniture was um upholstered furniture because what you want to do is just to find ways of dampening down um any noise coming into your space now noise as well if you don't have bison beams hi siobhan um if you don't have bison beams between your floors or holocore 
you know, you are going to get, if you've got timber, timber floors upstairs, you're going to have noise coming downstairs. So there's a couple of things that you can do, believe it or not, that work quite effectively that you mightn't even know or think about. You can put, now obviously wall-to-wall -wall carpet with a superb underlay would be amazing. But did you know that you can put an acoustic underlay under carpet, under laminate, under that high quality luxury vinyl? Um, and that does go a huge way in reducing the noise between upstairs and downstairs. So there's a couple of things that you can do um, to help with the noise because it, it is an issue. It, it absolutely, I mean, if you live in a city, if you live in an apartment block, you know, if you live in a terrace, and particularly, I suppose, the, the ones that are more newly constructed will have um, maybe less soundproofing and insulation so that's something that you should think about as well if you are building a new house think about areas in the house pockets maybe you're facing a busy road and you probably have triple glazed windows and your insulation will be amazing um, but just think about this and certainly think about the acoustics acoustic underlay under your flooring because that will make a massive difference you're going to be putting down an underlay under your laminate anyway and under your carpet so if you put an acoustic one down i've often done this uh, and I've done it in apartments and it works. It absolutely works. So um, it's going to be a short and sweet little video today uh, because I have something else that I have to do quite imminently. But if you have any questions at all or if anything that I'm seeing is not making sense or maybe you've never really thought or considered the impact of noise in your home um, and ways of reducing it. And I think lots of neurodiverse people, um, kids with ADHD, lots of people have a noise sensitivity and it be, can become quite distressing and I know that I have acquired this over the years I don't know why but I noise will too much noise does absolutely now quiet yeah. and peace and quiet will never affect me I love that but too much noise can actually cause a bit of distress for me I can't handle it so if anybody else is experiencing anything, anything like this or similarly or if you were never aware of it before um and you're conscious of it now let me know too because i'm kind of curious about that um so listen international women's day is coming up on friday and it's a day i love it's a lovely lovely day of celebration you know for all of us um melissa's come in and ah, oh, lots of people coming in veronica how are you um great to see you all so international women's day is coming up tell me now put a wee note in the comment box if you're doing something for international women's day because i would encourage you to do something you know go meet your friend for a coffee um maybe there's a talk or um something inspirational happening where you live or at your work go and join it i'm actually doing something lovely i'm going to marbella on friday um it'll be an early start in the morning i'm going in the morning uh, very early um to be there for half nine so it's um, the Costa Women Group. We're having a, a wonderful International Women's Day. Fabulous speakers, fabulous women coming. I'm really looking forward to connecting and celebrating. But I will do something here for International mm -hmm. Women's Day as well. I will, um, I will pop something in on Friday just to inspire and encourage and celebrate all of us wonderful women because every single one of us are wonderful in our own right and half the time we don't realize how absolutely incredible we are and what we do and what we're capable of you know no matter what life throws at us we can we have that strength within us and sometimes i think you don't know the strength that you have until you're faced with the situation and then you blossom and you just grow into that strength and handle it. So I am really looking forward to Friday. Uh, if you have any questions about acoustics, pop a little pop here, but do let me know. I'd love to know what you're doing if you're doing something nice for International Women's Day. And if you haven't planned something, plan it now. Go and um, organize something lovely for yourself and your friends. So I shall go and enjoy that. I'm gonna enjoy the sunshine. I'm gonna take a little bit of time outside first and then I'm gonna get stuck into what I need to get done again. So listen, have a gorgeous rest of the day. Be mindful of that sound. Be mindful of what you can do to improve it because I'm all for happy homes, creating calm, happy homes. Like my decluttering girls are doing this now. We're doing this over five weeks. Um, and it's not just about decluttering. Um, we're talking about decluttering, yes. And I'm showing them how to do the decluttering and the nuts and bolts of that. But what I really want them to do is to upgrade their home, you know, at no cost or minimal cost. There are ways that you can do that and to create more 
better energy and more calmness and joy and happiness in our homes because life is short and that's what I want you to do that's my mission to help you improve the home and the life that you've got so I'll be back on Friday um I'll probably pop in from Marbella as well I hope the sun will still be shining and I wish you a wonderful rest of today and a wonderful rest of the week and but do let me know where you're going to be on Friday because I just love to know that and think about you wherever you are so stay safe and stay fabulous and I shall see you in Marbella on Friday <laughs>